Good happy Thursday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your news and weather update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started. First step to transported to hospital following motor vehicle accident in Rochester. Two people were transported to the hospital after a vehicle they were in was rear-ended in Rochester Wednesday night. At 6.49 p.m., the Rochester Police, Fire, and Frisbee EMS responded to a report of a motor vehicle collision on Rochester Hill Road at the intersection of Dora Drive. Megan Rice, 32, of Rochester, was driving a 2010 Honda Accord and was making a left turn onto Dora Drive when her vehicle was struck from the rear by a 2004 Honda CRV operated by Veronica Guthrie, 47, of Rochester. The impact caused significant damage to both vehicles and both had to be towed from the scene. Rice and her passenger in her vehicle was transported to Frisbee Memorial Hospital with unspecific but non-life-threatening injuries. Guthrie received minor injuries but refused treatment. Both vehicles were towed from the scene. The only person that was restrained in the vehicles was a one-year-old child who was not injured in the collision. Airbags did deploy in both vehicles. Police ask anyone with information regarding this collision con to contact Justin, Officer Justin, at 603-330-7127. Welfare check at Guilford Hotel leads to drug bust. A well-being check of a guest who hadn't checked out of their hotel room led to a drug bust in Guilford. On Tuesday, Guilford police responded to the Marriott Town Place Suites at 14 Swell Mill Road to check the welfare of guests who had not checked out and had locked the door and was not responding to hotel staff. Responding officers made verbal announcements and were unable to get anyone to respond. Officers eventually gained access and made contact with two subjects who were later identified as Phillips Bryson, 45, no parent address, and Tasha Morin, 28, of Danbury. While officers were speaking with the two subjects, they noticed what appeared to be a quantity of fantasy lying in the open, along with other drug permalia. Members of the investigation, Investigative Service Bureau responded and tested the substance, confirming it was fentanyl. Police said both subjects were detained, and search warrants was applied for and granted for the room and belongings of the two subjects. 30 grams of fentanyl were seized along with other drug familia, several knives and packaging materials. Bryson and Morin were charged with one count of possession of controlled narcotic drug fentanyl. Bryson was also charged with default or breach of bail conditions and had an outstanding warrant through probation, parole. Bryson and Morn were held on cash bail and brought before the Superior Court on Wednesday. Bryson was held on 50,000 cash bail and Morn was held on 25 cash bail. The incident is still being investigated and further charges may be forthcoming, police said. Goffstown Police seeking 
bank robbery suspect. Goffstown police are searching for a man accused of robbing the Citizens Bank on Wednesday afternoon. At 4.33 p.m., the Citizens Bank at 11 Church Street reported a robbery where a male passed the teller a note demanding cash. No weapon was shown and the male suspect made off with an undeclosed amount of money, police said. The suspect is a white male, about 5 feet 9 inches tall, 140 pounds, and in his early 20s. He was possibly seen leaving the area in a new or model silver Honda, either an Accord or a Civic. The investigation is still ongoing, and anyone with potential information is urged to call Goffstown Police at 603-497-4858. Boston has a snow emergency beginning at 10 a.m., Thursday lasts through the duration of the storm. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh encourages people not to use space savers during the storm, saying they will be removed by crews clearing streets. Governor Charlie Baker announced a state of offices will be closed Thursday for non-emergency executive branch state employees. Baker urges everyone to stay off the road if possible, allowing snowplows crews to clear snow that will accumulate the state throughout the day. But stopped short to declare a state of an emergency or issuing a travel ban. Twitter earnings, 16 cents a share versus 12 cents estimate. Twitter shares sank Thursday after the social media company reported quarterly revenue that missed Wall Street's expectations and issued guidance that fell far short of estimates. Twitter posted fourth quarter earnings of 16 cents per share on revenue of seven, 17 million. Winter weather grounds delays thousands of flights across the U.S. Winter storms in the Northeast have grounded and delayed thousands of flights across the United States. As of early Thursday morning, at least 2,825 flights had been canceled and another 701 slated for delay, adding to the 396 flights that had already been canceled on Wednesday. And now let's take a look at your weather for today. Your weather for today. Today, snow heavy at times. This afternoon, highs in the mid 20s, 10 to 16 possible. Tonight, clearing skies. Windy and colder, lows in the single digits with wind chills below zero. We have 775 closings and delays this for today. And most of New Hampshire could see 10 to 16 inches of snow. And quick look at your traffic right now. Air traffic, we're seeing a lot of green roadways, and we have a few yellow areas and a few red areas as well. Otherwise, your traffic is moving a little.
how to locate on your Thursday morning. And that does it for your news and weather update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.